Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is AES and welcome to my YouTube channel. Back in the early 2000s, I used to be a fan of FIFA soccer. I did not know jack about real world teams and players, but I enjoyed playing the video games and became very excited whenever I scored a goal. In fact, one of my favorite video games of all time is FIFA Soccer 2003. It didn't do anything special, but I put it on the list solely off of nostalgia. As the years have gone by, soccer and the video game format started to be more and more stale, and I didn't play what Europeans call football ever since 2004, virtually at least. That is, until 2020 saw the release of Captain Tsubasa on the PlayStation 4. I never watched the anime, but I was intrigued by the visuals, the animations, and the simple premise of an animated show that is based on a sport. Ever since, I have been keeping my eye open for anime-based representations of sporting events, whether they are TV shows, movies, or video games. This year, we received such a sample with Dodgeball Academia. Pocket Trap, the team behind Interlink and Hell Broker, created an experience that is anything but a basic dodgeball title. In fact, it is a semi-deep role-playing title that uses dodgeball and certain anime tropes to deliver one of the best games revolving a specific sport. There is a sad omission that will be discussed later, but I look forward to telling you folks about a video game that is not to be missed. What are my thoughts on today's game? Time to find out. Without further ado, let's review Dodgeball Academia, which was released this year and for the purpose of transparency, was played on the Xbox Series S. Story I will keep this section short and sweet because I would like you to experience the narrative for yourself. Imagine if someone threatened to spoil shows like Dragon Ball Z, Death Note, or Attack on Titan. That's right, I don't think you would appreciate it. When it comes to Dodgeball Academia, the plot is straightforward. You play as Otto, a student who attends Dodgeball Academia and, together with fellow classmates, attempts to win the school's dodgeball tournament. It includes various storylines that have directly or indirectly made their presence in numerous anime shows, and it was always entertaining to make those connections as I completed chapter after chapter. The characters are distinguishable because of their strong personalities, and even though the sense of humor that is often portrayed can be perceived as cringy, I personally liked it. Let's put it this way, if you like the story in Pokemon, you will be on board with Dodgeball Academia's story. Visuals and Audio Design Dodgeball Academia's presentation is fantastic. In terms of visuals, it has a slick style that is reminiscent of old-school anime shows like 3000 Leagues in Search of Mother. You will see a lot of characters that have identical character models, mainly your foes, but every interesting character and ones that are vital to the told plot is uniquely designed and beautifully animated. The animation is also very good without any noticeable slowdowns. As far as the audio is concerned, it is pretty solid. The sound effects from dodgeball hits and power-ups are nice, and the music illustrates a world that caters to both children and adults. I also chuckled when you go to the infirmary and notice a striking similarity in the tune between Dodgeball Academia and the classic Pokemon games. Check this out. <laughs> Bruh, it's Pokemon. Ultimately, I did not have any issues with neither the visuals nor the sound design of today's highlighted video game. Gameplay The last time I played dodgeball in real life was in elementary school. I remember going behind one of the school's buildings with a group of friends during PE and enjoying an intense game of throwing balls at each other. Dodgeball Academia has exactly that experience, minus the power-ups of course. The basic rules of the sport are simple, throw the ball at a player from the other side. If he or she catches it, he or she has an opportunity to knock you out. If he or she does not catch it, and the ball touches him or her, then he or she is out. To increase the complexity within the video game, each player has a health bar that slowly goes down after each hit. In addition, each character can perform a power-up and a super move. The various combat options respectfully increases as you increase the roster of playable allies, and it elevates the amount of fun as well. While you are outside of combat, you will mostly run around, talk with non-playable characters, and complete side quests, which will typically lead to another combat scenario. The latter is not necessarily for the overall plot, but you would want to complete as many as possible for the experience points. As you gain more of them, you rank up, enhancing your basic and advanced moveset. These non-competitive gameplay mechanics take place in the story mode, 
Dodgeball Academia also offers a local multiplayer mode where you can play against another player while both of you are sitting on the couch. It is such a missed opportunity that you cannot take your dodgeball aspirations online, which would have been a real joy. Nevertheless, I never found myself to be bored by Academia's gameplay. It is more so the disappointment that I cannot play with friends and random folks over Xbox Live. Fun Factor As someone who enjoys cheeky humor and enjoyable indie video games, I must say that I had a great time with Dodgeball Academia. The accessibility options, which will be covered shortly, eliminated any frustration that I would have had otherwise. And the gameplay is cool and flexible, with multiple different playable characters. I wish that the game had online multiplayer, but for now I would just be content with playing by myself or with friends if they come over for a visit. Impressions on Xbox Achievements One of the coolest parts about Dodgeball Academia is how it accommodates the players who want to lay back and enjoy the experience, and also those folks who want a punishing playthrough. It is done thanks to the accessibility settings and more specifically, the ability to modify the difficulty settings. You can change how much damage you take, as well as how much damage you dish out. As a result, the quest to earn 100% of the achievements is incredibly easy. There are only two types of tasks. Story missions that are automatically given towards your run to the end credits, and miscellaneous trophies such as reaching level 50 with a party member and getting an S rank on every challenge. You can certainly acquire the achievements legitimately, but you can always substantially eliminate any challenge with the accessibility options. If you would like to earn 100% of the achievements, it is only a matter of time before you do it. When should you pick it up? If you are a current member of the Game Pass subscription service on Xbox, you can check out Dodgeball Academia for free right now. Otherwise, you will have to pay $25 to own it. Due to the lengthy campaign and the local multiplayer opportunities, I believe that the current price tag is justifiable. At this point, you only need to consider if the title's concept interests you or not. In the end, Dodgeball Academia is arguably the best dodgeball video game of all time. The story and the writing are goofy, but enjoyable. The roleplay mechanics accompanied by the combat system is intense and rewards strategy. The visuals are incredibly cool. If it implemented an online multiplayer component, I would have easily given it a 10 out of 10. However, the ability to play with other people is held back to solely local sessions. Nonetheless, Dodgeball Academia will most likely find a spot in my list of the top 10 games of 2021 and it will be interesting to see if a sequel will come out, considering that the ending nicely sets up a second title. I will give Dodgeball Academia from 2021 a 9 out of 10. Well folks, that's the end of the video, thank you very much for checking it out. What are your thoughts on Dodgeball Academia? Did you enjoy it? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Till next time, have a great day or evening wherever you are. My name is AES and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.